the one thing that scares me is I'm going to be having all these random fucking drunk and high strangers in my basement. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not worried and about that. Just, and then they just know where I live from that point on. Well, here's the deal. We're, we'll be we'll blindfold them. Can we blindfold just like request that the Uber driver yeah. blindfolds them. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll pick them up and we'll blindfold them. Okay. You know. <laughs> like we're not we're, I swear to God, we're not kidnapping you. Yeah, this is not a kidnapping. Weird. We're, like, we're literally just trying to shoot a podcast. But, with, but I will say this. To find out if you have the chops. Or... Yeah, we just want to figure out if you have chops. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll, we'll, go to, we'll go to any lengths possible to find out if you have chops. <laughs> How far will they go to find out if this subway employee has chops? <laughs> <laughs> and then we fucking kill him. We'll stop at nothing to find out if this guy has chops. We're fucking beating him up in an alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> we have to have them have to have him restrained on the podcast. Yeah. He's just chained to a lawn chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we had, we had to do some light assault this week to find out if he, he has, has the chops. chops. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Going hard, yo. Go. Go 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 hard, yo. Go hard, yo. Yeah, that's what it says. Go hard, yo. Go. Go hard, yo. Go. Go hard, yo. Go. Go hard, yo. Go, going hard, yo. Go, go hard, yo. Go, go. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Going Hard Podcast. My name is Josh Delay. I host this podcast along with my very good friend. Uh oh, that's my turn to speak. Huh? Yeah, you're my very good friend. Yeah, a- Alan Wagner's the name yep. that I go by. Yep, and the other guy is my best friend. Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> Oh what up? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you don't you don't start the podcast by making an enemy, dude. You know? Wasn't that awesome? How like I gave you a compliment, and you're like, oh, that's such a nice thing to say, but I immediately made you it just took bad. it back. Yeah, well, I didn't take it back, but I just like I, mean, kind of. I made like a, a hierarchy and I put you l- lower on the totem pole <laughs> and PD immediately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you might as well just declare me not a friend, you know? Well, you're my very good friend. Okay. Certain cultures, uh, you want to be on the bottom of the podium toll. Yeah, exactly. The, the like, podium toll. <laughs> yeah. the the podium toll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> PD speaks like a goddamn kindergartner. <laughs> the, po- the podium toll. <laughs> Climb with the podium toll. <laughs> so, like, I'm not, I, I, kids are fucking retarded, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> they sure funny. are. Have I have one of those things? Mm-hmm. He doesn't know how to walk. Uh, that's the thing. Or speak, or like do anything really. Well, do, well I guess here's, I'm not trying to like make you think about this, but like, do you like? Would you know already if he was, like, retarded? So, like, you would know if he had Down syndrome. You wouldn't really know if he had autism until... Sure. Because like, I feel like autistic people get to, like, a certain level of, like, education, and then they and then they stop. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. So, sure. so you got to let him get to that point first, I think. Yeah. What, yeah. what, what, what is that point? <laughs> I don't know. It could be, like, six years old. could be, you know, like, uh, 20 or something. I don't know. Well, if you stop learning at 20, you're probably not that retarded. Well, you're, yeah, but you're five years... Because you're supposed to stop learning at like 25 or something gotcha you're five years shy you're slightly gotcha. autistic i feel like that's what i am maybe yeah yeah so you think you stopped at 20 <laughs> yeah you know maybe 21 or something <laughs> yeah yeah it might have been more related to me just drinking a i was lot gonna more say is there a 21. correlation with the brain damage you were doing to yourself yeah. by, <laughs> by boozing i think so it was self-induced <laughs> autism you yeah know? so do you ever feel like sometimes when you get like uh like really like this weekend for example i was like I basically had like 48 straight hours of just drinking and partying. Like literally, the sure. last, I slept for like three hours and woke up and just started hitting it hard again just to survive, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. out of a survival instinct. Yep. And then all of, on my way back home, all of a sudden I was like, I was speaking very well. Like I like like I was like I was like doing I was like a better orator, <laughs> but I was like I drank like 20 some beers that day. So, so you, you were you were like you were drunk while you were having this thought. Right. Well, yeah, I was talking. I was like, oh, the things I'm saying sound real good." <laughs> and you don't you don't think there's any sort of like correlation at all there? Well, I'm saying, there, is there a correlation with my uh, my ability to be real good at talking? <laughs> okay, yeah, and so me the, drinking twenty the more, years. Yeah, so the more the more you put in you, the the better that you think you speak. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
So I think I get, I, I think I get better at it. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. That's clearly what's happening. Yeah, yeah I agree that you think that. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, so yeah, like I we, we went, so I, did, I had two, I had two different comedy shows this weekend, right? Uh huh. The first of which, I uh, before the show, I was like, I'm going to start a sober streak because lately, uh, here's the thing, my whole. You, you go, you go off and on of these like fairly frequently, actually. It's yeah. like at least once a year, I would say. Well, here's the deal: no, not actually being sober, but just just being sober while I'm doing comedy. Oh, okay. Because yep. I, I feel like I had just learned how to like be sober on stage and like be good at being sober on uh-huh. stage. I had just figured it out. So now you can mix it up a little bit. Well, that's what I thought. But here's the oh. issue: it's a very slippery slope. So now, like the last like three or four months, I've exclusively been drunk on stage. <sighs> yeah. And then it goes good sometimes, mm-hmm. but then when it goes bad, it goes real bad. And then like, uh, you're no longer in control. Mm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to get sober on stage. It's like fr- Friday night, bone sober on stage. It's like the phases of the moon, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah. You want to be waxing, not waning, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so when you're drinking, you're waning. Yep. You know, you're, 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 you're and then you're, when you're sober, at, right. sobering up, exactly. you're, so, so you're waxing. I like charge up as a sober comedian and then I get mm-hmm. to my peak. I'm like, oh, I'm at the height of my powers. You're, you're, you're gibbousing. And, and then I'm like, hey, wouldn't it be cool, cool to do some self-destruction right now? <laughs> yeah, dude. So then I do that and it wanes until it's an empty sky, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's what I was like. I'm like, unfortunately, was building towards it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a nice sober. So I had a sober set on Friday. It went fine. Yeah, you know, it was a little weird because now that, that takes another readjustment, kind of, you know. I suppose, yeah. But then Friday, like I said, I woke up at like I don't know, nine in the morning, just immediately just started chugging Fireball and drinking a lot of Coors Lights. Oh no, just as many Coors Lights as the doctor could uh, prescribe me. <laughs> and uh, there was a lot of doctors. And. Uh, <laughs> And then, so then even, so we had two, we had two and a half hour drive from where we were the night before to the next show. And, uh, the guy who books the show, my roommate, Nathan, just allows me just to like drink in the car. So oh, I, yeah, fuck yeah. So I was just crushed. I crushed like four beers in that time. It was time. a long, nice long drive up to Brainerd, uh, wherever yeah, you Yeah, it was in that area. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, did I, t- did I tell you about this already? No, no. You told me where you were going. Oh, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I was, it was like, like, I was uh, like, I hope I'm not like uh, repeating cl- this. Clit her all. Clit her, clit her all. Clit her all. Yeah. Uh, and then, um. Like Oppenheimer or some fucking outing. Outing. I knew yes. it started with like an good. O word. So anyway, so the outing one, like literally, I was talking with the two other comedians. I wasn't talking to Nathan. It was my I mean. He knew I was fucked up. I was talking to the other guys. And I was like slurring. Like, I was like, this is gonna be, a, this is gonna be a weird set. I did, I did twenty minutes, and I went up there and like for some reason, like I don't know if it's like you muscle zo- memory. You just zoned in. I just zoned in and like, <laughs> and then I made the guy stage was like, Ugh, and they're like, dude, how did you just go, just do twenty minutes <laughs> and you, you seemed not drunk. <laughs> And then you come on stage and you're like stumbling, just so experienced. Yeah, and then there was this... you just like fall off the stage, dude. It was crazy. My brain does some wild shit sometimes. I don't understand. And then like, <laughs> and there's so there's this this lady I was talking to before the show, and I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm, I'm okay, like it's, it's fine. But like yeah, their, yeah. T- their table was like really fun. So after the show, I went and talked to them, and like you know, I was like fun on stage and like had energy. And then I went down, I was like, I deeply hate myself and they're like what i'm like yeah i just have a lot of mental problems and they're like oh man okay and i was just like being like honest with them about my life and stuff and just being like really drunk and like having a rough oh, time no and i'm like you guys want to do a shot they're like yeah, are you driving i'm like god no they're like okay good <laughs> you just like give this like just peppy fucking like energetic person yeah, so on they're, stage they're like you seem so fun i'm like i that's have, wrong i have You're a wrong. deep i have a deep <laughs> unwavering hatred of myself <laughs> That <laughs> can never be fully shaken. Oh fuck! <laughs> and they were all like laughing, and I was like, "I'm being serious." <laughs> <laughs> but they were nice people. Uh, nice yeah. people over there at outing. Yeah. Do you want to like? Uh, do you, Do you need? Uh, do you need to talk to us? No, because you are. are you... This is nothing you guys are unaware of. No, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> but I shouldn't be talking to strangers about that. You're gonna hit that? I don't know. I like. I feel like I kind of have to. How about it, buddy? I might as well join you in your hey, fucking misery. There you go, buddy. That's good. How is your? I feel like the more of this I take from you, actually, the better. You're, you're, that's I'm helping you. Yeah, that's the body of Josh, there, bud. Yeah. It's the blood of Josh. <laughs> just, just clear, just hundred yeah, percent clear. That's, that's that's the blood of Josh, there, buddy. Hey, you talk for a second. My hands are going to be busy. For well, yeah, a you're going to be handling the sacrament. <laughs> <laughs> so the body of uh, the body of Josh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Father, Son, the Holy Josh. Dog. Yeah. When I was an altar boy, I'd have to say that like a hundred times. The fucking people yeah man i feel like every time we talk about the you being body altar boy. of christ <laughs> yeah. the body of christ <laughs> so weird the dude. body of christ it's i so would just weird. say that over and over again it's weird to me that people, that people don't find that eerie it is it's the fucking like it's the creepiest fucking shit right. like just having like dressing up like a little kid in like yeah. these weird like fucking like ritualistic robes 
My, like it had like ropes dangling off of it and shit. Right. And you have to like walk with your hands like in a fucking praying fucking motion and mm-hmm. shit. And you're just walking around, just looking at people, and sh- I don't know. Yeah, man. It seems it seems just as weird as any. It's cult very or fucked anything, up. Right? It's very fucked up. Yeah. Hey, man. Let's do with these re- organized religions, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we- hey. Guess what? We have a phone call. Garbage day. Uh, I'm gonna set the microphone down <laughs> and take this shot. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely autistic. Um, yeah. <laughs> that verifies it. <laughs> Producer B, what'd you do this weekend, buddy? Would you have anything going on? Anything fun? No. Just chilling, killing? Yep. How was work today? Uh, work was good. Yeah? Did you go? No. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was Producer Pete's Corner. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's always the best. I, I always like, know. How was your weekend? Chill, dude, chill. How was work? Didn't go. All right. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. I always, I always know when Pete's at home because like, I'll come down here and start working. And then, like, at some point, he'll wake up and smoke a bowl, like, rip a bowl. Oh, and you can And get, I'll just hear the, co- the coughing through the <laughs> ceiling. <laughs> so, like... It must be a welcome. I'm just like, oh, Pete's home, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pete's home for the day. That's, That's nice, cool. though, yeah. right? You have a full house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Remember we all used to live remember here together? That, remember that show? Full house? Yeah. Anyways, I do remember all of us uh, living. Wasn't that... We had a really full house then. Uh-huh. Those were good times, huh? Which, which one of us was uh, uh, Mary Kate uh, and or Ashley? Well, we, yeah, I was gonna say we were we were actually the twins. Yeah, Pete and I were definitely the twins. They only had one of them on the show at a time, right? We, we were like the two like barely legal twins. I'm, you I, know? I can't remember. Oh, what, what's going on now? Plug my headphones. Oh, it's it's not garbage uh, day again. Which uh, <laughs> which one of them? Uh, so like they they swapped places, right? They, the both of them weren't on the screen at the same time at all, ever, right? Yeah, when I had sex with them, they were swapping out a lot. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what was the lady's name on Full House? That that the character? Uh, Michelle. I think it was, yeah. Uh, Which so they were just like co- like swapping out of like Michelle, like as yeah, they were the same. It was one child, My, which which really begs the question: Why not just have twins? Why not just cast like you know? Uh, like it was exclusively. Twins? I actually know the answer. If you want. was it was it a labor issue? It was a labor issue. Was it actually? Yep. Oh wow. What do you mean? Full House was woke, dude. You could only you could only work so many hours a day as a child. Oh, that's smart. That's smart on their part, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you ever like as a kid like because obviously we all thought that Mary Kate and Ashley were hot. Yeah. And I think they're like hotter now that they've like had like like had gone through like a been co- through like, rehab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like hotter. Gone than through they've... coke addiction and yeah. then back. You would love. I would. They're love, probably still addicted. To I would love to get really fucked up with really either of my whichever one had the worst problem. Well, the, Do you remember which one had the worst one? I feel like one of them was more off the rails, right? Oh, really? I there mean, was there was the, the evil twin, the good twin. Well, no, I think they both went off the rails, but I think one of them was like more perpetually in trouble. That's the one that I would like to get real. Well, how would you know, though? Wait, what do you mean? You know, like... Well, you, I mean, they don't dress the... They're not... Well, like, no, but, like, if you... Okay, but think about this. If you're a twin and you start getting in trouble, right? Yeah. The second that, like, that starts piling up, like, the the trouble anyways, like, you just be like, okay, well, let's just fucking, like, like uh, say that... Ashley's the one that's that's getting in trouble a lot. Yeah, and then anytime either of them get in trouble, they just say I'm Ashley, and then they they put the fucking rap on on uh, on her instead of the other one, you know. Oh, and they can never find the other one. Mary Kate's always good because they yeah. never say they, they never say they I'm both, Mary Kate. They, they just they just say you know I'm a- I'm Ashley or whatever. They both say that it's Ashley's fault, but they're, and they're Mary. But one of them is Ashley. One of them is Ashley. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Okay. But the, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that Mary way, Kate never exists. That, <laughs> <laughs> that that way, only one of them has like a rap sheet, and yeah. then they can and then they can utilize Mary Kate's yeah. perfect uh, identity Dude, to, they to would, do the things. The that only they way to they could disprove you know? it is by actually just going through the full like DNA yeah. profile. No, they like... wouldn't be able to even do that because they share the same DNA. Actually, oh wow, yeah, there's no way to prove it. So if you're a twin. Yeah. Do, as long as you, the other person's on board. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it lasts that way up until one of you has to go to like prison for a while. Right, but what, what can they do then, though? You could still just be like, I know, I'm but, not... then, but one of them is just in there, though. But no, they can't because they, they, they go to one. They're never in the same place. They, okay. go, they go to one, and they're like, uh, no, it's Ashley. <laughs> so they just split up, and they're just yeah, like, they no, split, it's Ashley. As long as they split up, and as long as it's like a reasonable amount of time. That is true. As long as they don't like okay. talk to them simultaneously. They would have to like figure out, like yeah, they'd have to like yeah. uh, cl- uh, calibrate their watches with each other and yeah, like, be on the fucking phone. Yeah, and... they'd sync up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's be like, I'm, I'm speaking with Ashley right now. Yeah, exactly. I'm speaking with Ashley right it's now. Like, it's like, no, you're not. Yep. Because I, uh, I'm Mary Kate. You know, this, it, it, it would all work out this great. This is tantalizing. It is, right? But yeah. if, 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 if you were smart enough, you could make it work. Uh-oh. We get, we get a nice crash. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it plugged? It's plugged in, right? Yeah. I actually just like have a laptop now, and I should probably just we should I should just bring that over when we do this. Because I mean, that's what just what instead of this sometimes happening, it would never happen then. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have a you have a strange pride in this laptop. I just I just want it to be okay, all right? And if, it's just if, a, it's it's been a bad laptop the entire if, time you've owned it. Yeah, I know, but it's if, never been good. And if, for some reason, you like care about it. But if I like say that it's bad, that this that is like your I'm, Mary Kate. That means I'm giving up on it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, but sometimes you have to give up on stuff. No, nah, man. Oh really? I could just care. I could just say it's good, and then I just believe it. Ever felt you? Ever felt like you wanted to give up on producer Peter and myself? Never. Have you ever thought like I would, I would never? Have you ever have, have our actions ever driven you to the point where you're like, I think it's time I have to disengage? Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Petey's is shaking his head. He's like, Yeah, for both of you. <laughs> it's like oh, every shit. day I regret our friendship. <laughs> it has been not fruitful. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I bet there was a time. I, I can think of a time that you would have maybe uh, disengaged from me as a friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Why are we going to talk about that? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. But yes, yes. There's a time where I should have probably. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think, yeah. So I was thinking of the Jello shot time with fucking, uh, with James. Oh, well, you guys said multiple times I should yeah, have disengaged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Sounds yeah. like I'm a much better friend than you. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Sounds like I'm the more forgiving. A hundred percent, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, when when you're a person like me who like who has the level of disdain that I expressed earlier, <laughs> it's very easy to to just like feel like you deserve to be treated badly, uh -huh. and then therefore very easily. Hey, listen, I've had a pretty good last decade, though. Right? <laughs> You've been a good friend the last ten years. Yeah. <laughs> you had a shaky, you had a shaky, shaky first five, shaky three or four, and then no, yeah. the first five were good, and then there was a shaky three or four. Oh, in the middle. yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I mean, it was kind of shaky for everybody. Everybody who was interacting with me at that point was not having a good time, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, well, that's or good. maybe they were having a fun time, but it was Well, yeah, you know, the, the times were harmful. good. Yeah, it was harmful the, the times were good. <laughs> you were making some uh, morally questionable choices, though. Yeah, yep. Like that time you had sex with that guy? Yeah, that was fucking wild. <laughs> I was decision. like, this is morally corrupt. <laughs> yeah. We were like sharing needles at the same time as each yeah. other too. It was like it's like if I'm not going to get HIV one way, I'm going to get it the other way. You yeah, know? you're like I'm going to make sure to get it. Yeah, and I'm going to give it to all my boys. Yeah. So I was like, Alan, this is <laughs> sick. Well, I mean that was uh, that was the second time you almost disengaged from me as a friend when I gave you AIDS. Yeah, yeah. Well, I should have never engaged. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so fuck, dude. I had a I had a hell of a time today. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So yeah, you, you were actually uh, alluding to this earlier, yeah. uh, before the podcast. You yeah. Said you'd get into it. Let's get into yeah, it. Yeah, I, huh? I had a hell of a time today. Okay. I mean, literally, like like slapstick levels of just like things going badly in a row. Like the circumstances surrounding my situation for like an hour and a half of my day to day were so preposterous. I mean, I'll just get into it. I don't know. I don't oversell up talk because maybe it's not. Maybe it's not you even. Have been, yeah. I'm just telling you, I was like completely losing my mind because I was like, "How is the entire universe conspiring against me in this one moment?" Yeah. You know, like sometimes, like just everything matches up perfectly to just like make sure that you're gonna have the worst time ever, and it's not even one factor. It's just like every factor is bad. Yeah. No. You, no, you, no, you, no. you got that? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. uh, so. Uh, I've been I, I've been working from home as you guys are well aware, and so as I work from home, I got my fucking dog with me, and so my dog was coming just fucking paw at me, and I'm like, all right, I'll fucking take you out, take her out like fucking four times a day now. I'm very perturbed, as you can tell. I, I've had a rough day, so I'm gonna complain about things that are very fucking benign in a way that uh, seems much more detrimental than it actually yeah. is. But so, so I take her out, you know. Uh, uh, and when I, when I take my dog out, um, because I live in a neighborhood where I might get mugged, I like, don't bring my wallet with me. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah. Think, yeah. Just in case something like, does happen. Yeah. I just be like, I don't got shit on me, man. Yeah. It's like, you want my, uh, keys? <laughs> oh, you can go into my, uh, my room. I'm surely my roommates will, won't fucking destroy you with the gun that I have in there, <laughs> which I've given them all permission to and the fucking key to the thing to shoot any. Do you have multiple keys for that thing? No, have, but, oh. I, I, but I have a key stored in a place. You trust both your roommates to have yes. access to your gun yes. cabinet? And by the way, we, we've all expressed suicidal thoughts. Anyway, besides the point. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> so, so anyway, <laughs> you can have my keys. But here's the deal. I usually don't even read my keys. Because a lot of times, I'm also in this pattern of where I, I go and I run a lot. And so yes. when, I, when I run, yep. I, want, I don't want anything in my pocket. All I have is my watch. And my roommates all know this. And I say, hey, if I'm out, I'm, the door's going to be unlocked up front. I'm going to go for a run. It's going to be unlocked for a little bit of time. Whatever. You guys know that. Yeah. You don't goddamn lock the door, okay? okay? Yeah, and you got locked out. And I wasn't even going for a run. I was taking Nyla around the block for two goddamn minutes. And in the time that I got back around the block, both roommates were gone and the door was locked. I didn't have a single item on me, not even my watch. If I had my watch, it can connect to my phone called, and I can called, make a call. Yeah. I didn't have a single item. I mean, all I had was Nyla. It was 90 oh, fucking degrees. Oh, no. And I was like, this is really one of the That's worst bad. situations of all time. Especially with Nyla. Poor little dog. She's yeah. A, she's a, so she's I, a black dog. So I, tied black her, dog. so I tied her up under the patio where there's some yeah. shade. I was like, this is the best I can do for her. And uh-huh. then like I tried the wa- we have like a water spell because it's like a, kind of like a house situation. Yes. And it can't draw water. Oh, that you guys have the water turned out from the win- I, from the winter. I would suspect. I don't think anyone did that. Oh, I don't okay. think anyone winterized a home. Where I don't think that's a thing that <laughs> that's not a verb that gets used around my parts. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no one takes the ACs out of the windows. No one does. None of that happens. There's no. You know what I mean? No one's uh, plasticking that. You know, there's yes. no greenhouse effect utilization. None of that happens. All right. We don't fuck around like that in the okay, North Minneapolis. Okay. That's yep. not a thing. Yeah, I feel you know. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, so I'm sitting there. I'm like, well, for God's sake. And I saw the state that my one roommate was in because I like, watched him get into his car. I didn't even think about it because I was like, he, he's not going to lock the door. He knows that, I, that this is a thing. Yeah, so and, he got in his car and he just drove Yeah, but I, and I saw how he was dressed. I'm like, well, he looks like fucking dog shit. He's going to be back any second. Okay. Mm. Oh, how long? Well, I sat outside for 45 to 50 minutes. Jesus. Be- this was before. I- but then I moved on because I'm like, I'm like, Nyla's panting. I have no water. For her. I'm like, I need to like find, find, a- find an oasis. I need to find yeah. an oasis. Well, there's a pond across the street from me. Not here. having her drink from that. What do you mean? She's a dog. She mm. can drink that stuff. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I don't. If you look, if you want to come over and clean up that fucking diarrhea from whatever fucking. I mean, do you think people diarrhea in there? Yeah, when she's fucking just consuming. Par- oh, her diarrhea. I thought you were yes. saying people were diarrhea. No, 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 no. In no. The pond. When she's just consuming fucking eighty percent paramecium and she fucking no. shits all over the place. Listen, what do you think these animals are drinking when they're out in the fucking wild? Did you just call the black people in my neighborhood animals? Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> God damn it, Josh! <laughs> Listen, all right. I'm talking about sure, sure, non-human, a few, sure, a few, sure. non-human uh, animals. Did you just call the black people live in my neighborhood non-human? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Any, uh, anywho, so it got to the point. Okay, so we we have we have a patio that's like semi climbable. Yeah, did you climb up to it? Okay, here's what happened. So, uh, so I like what's happening. So the thing is, like, I would have had to like climb up like 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 a like some sort of like I don't know some some animal that can climb up a tree. It's like like a it's bear, like a, like a cat. Or, yeah, a bear like, or a cat that can like like out like up a, a a shiny metal pole up to the patio. Oh, okay. So here's what I did. I grabbed yep. the recycling bin. And then I, it's I, pla- I, it's made out of plastic. Yeah, you crashed I, through it. And I didn't crash all the way through, but it started to bend down. I'm like, okay, well, this isn't sustainable, you know? Yes. This isn't going to work out good. And uh, so I was like, well, I'm. Re-, and then I tried to climb it a couple different ways. I'm like, I'm just not. Go-. Like, like I bet you could get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I was like, look, I, I'm going to have to do some crazy, like, I'm going to have to, like, swing my legs up on, like, a ledge. And it's like, I just, this might just end in me, like, breaking my neck. And it's just not worth it to me. <laughs> So eventually I was like, look, man, I, I could be out here all fucking day. Like, it's yeah. possible I'm out here all day. I have no idea where either of them went. Yeah. They, no, I, you knock on your neighbor's door or something or what? Yeah, man. That's a good I idea. I don't know. People, if you're just like, my dog's fucking going to die, man. You, also, you People you, like dogs. Also, people don't like people. But. Also, look, I was dressed like this. These fucking, these weird old fat shorts I have where I was a fat guy. They don't look that bad. And and but it was just a wife beater. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't have the shirt. It was just a wife beater. Me looking. looking <laughs> okay. Yeah. You were knocking on people's door at that. point. I don't think it would have been a good idea. They wouldn't no, have believed me. I'd be so like, either. hey, can I use can I use your phone? Can, hey, you, yo, can me, you turn let, on let, your water let, spigot for let, me? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Can Jesus. I see, can I see your phone? You know, like I was dressed like one of those fucking guys. You know, so they're not gonna fucking trust me. In fact, honestly, the fact that I'm white, they would trust me less. You know what I mean? It's like, what am I doing? Yeah, that's that's what kind of fucking white devil shit am I trying to pull? You know? And I wouldn't blame them. They're right. Like I looked like a fucking weirdo. I mean, just in general, like even even without these circumstances, I wouldn't blame them. All I have is a wife beater and a fucking pit bull strap to me. It's like, (laughs) like that doesn't look good, dude. That's not good at all. (laughs) Can we come in your house? Yeah, yo. I I, I started like I'm like. 
hey, you can you hook a cracker up with a half quart of water. It's like, <laughs> it's like look, I was, it, it just wasn't gonna work. That would have so, been cool. As so fun. here's so here's what I eventually did. I was like, okay, I need to get water for Nyla somehow, and I don't want to. I don't want to go to my neighbors. I just don't want to. Okay, do it. fair. Um, I remember our friend Emily lives like four blocks. Oh, that's north why of me. you saw Emily. Yes, and I was like, look, I would never do this. You know, like I would never yeah. just like go and just show up unannounced at anyone's place. But I was like, I was like, this is my only fucking hope of like going there, getting water for Nyla, using her phone, hitting Nate, hitting my roommates up. Yeah, like this is my last goddamn hope. Was so, she there? She was. I mean, that's great. Yeah. But before that, here I am walking through North Minneapolis in a fucking wife beer with a pit bull. Just black people just screaming all around me. <laughs> just, just, be, that's just what's happening. There's a guy on the phone being like, "It's a hundred dollars. You owe me a hundred dollars." I'm like, "God damn it, bro!" Just crazy shit just swirling around me, and I'm like, "What? What are the circumstances of my life right now? It's ninety degrees. I'm getting sunburned. I'm in a white beater. It's like the whole, cir- <laughs> like the whole world conspired against me." Oh, additionally, when yes. I was trying to climb into that fucking patio up on the, yeah, was, what, what did you do? There was a baby bird that had fallen out of a tree. You fucking killed a baby bird? <laughs> no, I raped it. Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I left the baby bird alone, but the fact that I, I should I thought about killing it. You want to know why? Because there was a fucking, there was an Oriole family protecting it. So every time I got too close to the tree, it would, like was coming at me. What so, the fuck? So I was trying to, it was right by the patio. So it's like I had to like sneak by these Orioles who were fucking <laughs> defending this baby bird that had fallen from a tree. And it's not – it's the whole thing. I'm like, why are all these things happening? Why am I dealing with all of these things? <laughs> that's fucking Bro, hilarious. it was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it was fine after that. And that's it. But there's so like – The whole – It's like literally I couldn't believe it. I was like – I was so mad at my roommate. I was so mad about everything. And then this aura was flying at me. I'm like, why <laughs> is all of this happening? This is so fucking insane. It's like a fucking movie, man. I it, like it. It's literally it's it, it's so imp- the whole are, all the circumstances are just so improbable. Yeah, yeah. It's like what in God's name, dude? Are are you like gonna reconsider your like choice of uh like t shirt for now? The whole like I don't know. I thought I was are probably, you gonna re- reconsider the the wife beater. Well, I mean, I was kind of dressed like a black guy. I mean, it probably would have been fine if I wasn't white. <laughs> but I did look like a. I, I mean, I looked like a fucking wigger. Like. God. I mean, did I not? Yeah, yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, yeah. I was dressed. I was dressed in such a way. Uh huh. I was dressed like the protagonist from fucking San Andreas, dude. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. You know? <laughs> yeah, totally. Which in this neighborhood, perfectly acceptable garb. What, what'd you? Uh, what'd you? Did you have a, a nice little discourse with your roommates when you uh, when you got a hold of that phone or what? I mean, I talked to Nathan and I was like, I am infuriated. He didn't seem to care. Oh, probably yeah. He seemed, it's not uh, his problem. He, well, no. Yeah. So yeah. So so no, so anyway, I got to Emily's place, and, and I was like, I knocked on the door at first. I was like, oh fuck, someone just just please Riley or someone be here, please <laughs> yeah, yeah. God. Mm-hmm. And I just, like peered in, and I see like Emily is like sitting on the couch. I'm like, oh, oh my God, this is this is so fortunate. <laughs> what did she have to say? So I just like walked into her porch and just like waved at her, and she's just like, mm-hmm. she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need your phone. <laughs> no, I was, I was <laughs> look, she saved my life in some yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got nylon his bowl of water, and like, <laughs> I texted Nathan. He's like, "Well, I'm home now." So basically, you walked all the way there for no reason. Dude, but as but the thing is, as I was walking away too, I was like, yeah. I was like almost walking backwards, just like watching my house, just, just to see if, sure, someone, yeah. see if someone. And I, so it was probably like five minutes after oh, I was gone. Fuck. Dude, yeah, that's not good. And he's like, I'm home. I'm like, will will you be home in 15 minutes when I walk back there? He's like, yes. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it was fucking unreal, dude. Like an yeah. hour and a half affair. You should hide a key, is what you should. You should make an extra key and hide a key. Yeah, is what you should I think probably I probably do. will. I'll probably just bring yeah. my keys with me now. I guess. Like, I mean, you could just hide a key also. And just do that. It's just I couldn't believe it, dude. This this roommate too. This fucking guy that locked the door. Yeah. Almost every morning that I go to work, back when I used to have to go to work, I yeah. wake up and the door is just unlocked. Like he isn't, he never locks. He doesn't do anything right. He never locks the fucking door. The one time he locks the door is when I'm literally ten seconds away He's from going back in. He had some shit in there. He wanted to fucking keep secure. No, you know? he doesn't. <laughs> Fucker. This whole story is funny as fuck. It was just, I mean, the rage. Yeah. The rage. I didn't. I, the, the whole time I was like. Everything was so crazy that I was like, I just need to like actually think about this logically and how funny this is because it is funny. It's crazy. Yeah, 
it's it's so improbable that like you have to just appreciate. It's like having birds swarm you and shit. <laughs> it's just so retarded. I wish you would have gotten mugged. I thought about, it, but I do. I, but I also, also it's like I was like I have this dog and I have nothing on me. Yeah, nobody's gonna approach you with that. But that's I, that, I know that's the thing. But I thought about it. I was like, well, what someone did? I was like, I don't got nothing on me. They're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the chest and find yeah, out. It's dude, like, goddamn, dude. But yeah, then you have a fucking Nyla running fr- leash free around yeah. them and stuff. Though. No, the Nyla was protecting me for sure. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't go for any of that. Uh huh. She hates guns. <laughs> Uh, that's good stuff, man. Yeah, cool stuff. Yeah, so you feeling better though? Feeling great. Yeah, but I mean, it's just funny now. It's funny when you just rage out at something so retarded. Like you're just like you're like, why is life so bad? <laughs> it's like it's okay. Well, it's not the end of the world. They'll come back eventually. Yeah, exactly. I was just concerned they were going to take a really long time, and then it's like, well, like what? they would just went to work or something for the next well, eight hours or however long. Yeah, they're not the working kind. I, but, I suppose. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> like they, like restaurant gigs or something. What is does Nate does Nate just do comedy? He's, he does a number of things. Some of some of which aren't uh, uh, getting taxed. So uh, I prefer I feel- not. <laughs> Prefer not to blow up his spot. All right. On that. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. He has a few non-taxable like, so we, we should, uh, side gigs. We should probably gigs. talk about these things not on the podcast. Then, yeah, preferably. Okay, but yeah, yeah, he does comedy. Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> He's a comedian. Professional comedian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which, when you're a professional comedian, it usually that means you're also a professional drug dealer. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or at least were. Like that's the thing. Like coming up in comedy isn't just like grinding out the open mics. It's also like selling drugs and like oh, of course, finding ways to pay rent that are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, not on the up and up, as you would yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody wants to wear a fucking suit and tie or anything these days, you know? No, but they will wear a wire. They will wear a wire. Will, will wear will wear a wire. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have wire, will wear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what else is going on? Uh, I don't know, man. Not a whole lot other than that. We got a bunch of new technology in the podcast. Yeah, I, right I like there. it, man. I like the, the the ticker there. That's good. Is that what that's called? The ticker? Uh, I think so. Am I right about that? The ticker. I think so. Then like, uh, should I put, st- should I like hook it up to like the stocks, the stock market? You sh- you could. We could look at. We could just fucking. We could be a stock podcast. You yeah. know. Do you know about stocks? Uh, I I got into stocks a little bit. Yeah. Do you know about them? No. Oh, okay. I you, lo- producer. Uh yeah, we can look it up. I'm All more right. I'm more of like a crypto guy. Yeah, we could do a we could do crypto ticker. Yeah, crypto I, ticker. Get, get a et. <laughs> Get ETH and BTC up there. That would actually be really fucking funny if we just had, like, fucking crypto <laughs> just, like, ticking in the background of our podcast. That would be funny. Reason. Well, I mean, we're three white males doing a podcast. Certainly, we're into crypto. That is true. We, we're, we fit the demographic I mean, you very ha- well. You have Bitcoin. Like, you fucking... Uh, yeah, I play, you, I you play deal, the markets. You deal in Bitcoin. So both yeah, of you do. Yeah, you know, I, uh, d- I dilly-dally around uh-huh. there. Yeah, both of you guys are pulling pulling money in and out of Bitcoin. So Frequently. Yes. Uh, I have like I I think I still have Dogecoin. I'm gonna let that sit for a while. Yeah, you you've mentioned this before, and I I don't think that that's good. Well, I mean, it's like ten dollars, so I'm not really too worried. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. I'm not good at doing any of that stuff. Not me neither. That's why I fucking have ten dollars in Dogecoin, and I'm like somewhat expecting it to fucking turn me into a millionaire somehow. Yeah, yeah. That's how it's fucking retarded I am. Well, you want to go play poker with me after this? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, Can I bring a baby? Uh, yeah. Can you? I think. I just, I just have him fucking strapped on me. I'm trying to think. No, I think you might have to be 18 to be in there. <laughs> Do people smoke and stuff at the table? They, there's no smoking. There's no smoking there? Is that like a fucking whole thing where like no... <laughs> a lot of places don't have smoking anymore. That's such a fucking bullshit situation. <laughs> Who wants to go to a fucking stupid casino and not be able to fucking smoke Look, at the hey, I'm slot with, machines, man? I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I mean... I think what a lot of places I don't know if they do anymore, but even back with the smoke, they would they would have designated non-smoking sections. Yeah, but these are on the these are on the res though, man. Like fucking. Well, if they're on the res, I think you can still smoke. Well, that's the only place that casinos are. That's not are true, on actually. So what the, do you mean? Well, there, there are. Well, I mean, there's like Nevada and stuff. Obviously, well, in but... in Minnesota, they're not on the reservation. What do you mean? Like like Canterbury Park and Running Aces Casino both like are Myst- not. Mystic Lake is. Mystic like... is okay. They don't have to be though. You don't have to be. But, I, but, I thought that was like a like a requirement. Like, well, it, well, if you are, you can have any kind of whatever you want. But so because essentially, if you, if you have a racing track, a racing track like like 
changes like your level. Ah, uh, got you. The rule it changes the rules. It, a it changes bit. the amount of freedom you have. Oh, so, so wait the, a second. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Running aces. Yes, they have a fucking horse track, don't they? Yes, because and it's so does run, can- running. And s- Running yes. aces, and so does Canterbury, I, which is why they can, which is why they can have their card rooms. Yeah, that's clever. It's a clever name. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I didn't get it before, but I get it now. Should we call them up and tell them that we think their name is cool? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, here, let's call them. All right, sounds good. This will be fun. <laughs> tell them you enjoy their their service. It's like running aces. Is that now? Are you referring to the uh, like uh, cards, or are you referring to horses? They're like, well, both. It's like, well, that is just something. <laughs> <laughs> Like uh, anything else? It's like no, nah, not really. I feel like you just outlined like exactly what this conversation <laughs> is going to be. <laughs> Here you go. There, huh? It's it's uh it's Colin. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's not Colin. Click make call. It, I, it would actually be fucked up if they recognize my name because I call them all the time. But yeah. yeah. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta put, put it on speakerphone. All of our promotions and events, along with our health and safety guidelines, please visit runaces.com. Runaces.com. Please dial it now. To reach the hotel front desk, press one. For the card room, poker you want to talk? Yeah, that seems like a safe, safe uh, thing to do. Bailey, how can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Bailey. Oh hey, um, so we we just had a question. Um, uh, sorry, we we, uh, we actually uh, we run a podcast out of uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, and we we were just curious. Uh, running aces now is that name? Is that in reference to horses or is it in reference to cards? Uh, yep, we do we do race horses, and then uh, they have strictly card games at the casino. Gotcha. So, but but the name itself, you know, running aces, it kind of brings up like you think running, you think a horse. And you think aces, you think cards. Is that like kind of a play on words, would you say? Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I would say so. All right, cool. Well, I mean, that's basically all I got for you. But uh, thank you so much. We'll see you tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You're, you're, thank you. Yep. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> would you like forget to, uh, how to hang up a phone or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. It's like, oh, that's great that you guys have horses and cards, but uh, really, that name that's a bit of a pun. Would you, would you, would you agree? She's like, like, I yeah, guess so. I guess, I guess that's right. <laughs> that was the dumbest prank. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> can you even label that a prank call? Like, it was <laughs> just a general inquiry of information. You know, <laughs> there was no like comedic angle. Yeah, to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> It was, just, uh, it was just wasting someone's time, but God in, like, in like a good-natured way. Yeah, right? <sighs> yeah, I, mean, I could have been mean to her or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the, I do love the idea of just wasting people's time. <laughs> <laughs> but that lady's like, what the fuck just happened? They said they're on a podcast and well, they wanted to know about She's going to think about that call. That's, <laughs> at least there's that level to it. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. Where you know she'd be like, why did that any of that happen? I wonder if... Uh, and then I'm like, oh, I was just talking about the name. Like, oh, that, cool. That's great. Well, we'll see you tonight. I wonder if Shane... It's like, <laughs> it's like, what? I wonder if Shane still thinks about... Shane from Subway still thinks about me from time to time. Oh, you know? when you had the episode where you were trying to replace me with uh, a Subway employee? Well, or a, or a Jimmy John's or, or you were so and Gerbs. You were so ignorant as to think that every Subway employee has the talent that I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Boy. I We should actually maybe just like start... A podcast just with an average subway employee. Oh fuck yeah! It's just... called the Average Subway Employee Podcast. <laughs> just find a random fucking subway. Yeah. Em- we could find a different. We could actually find a different subway employee. Yeah, and just like, like see which ones like have the chops. Yeah. Do you have the chops? <laughs> That's the name of the podcast. Do you have the chops? <laughs> <laughs> and we just, we just like like whoever any dish we're like hey you want to work on something you want ever thought about doing a do you, podcast do you have the chops dude we have to go to we have to go to like that's what we ask them every time dude there's some wild subways in <laughs> Minneapolis dude yeah we would actually find some people that would be scary but like really fun to do a do you podcast think do you think with. we would have to bring the podcast to them or do you think that they would be able to travel well to I'm sure we have to at least like call an Uber for a lot of them do you think so do you think the Uber would be worth it I think that most people in certain neighborhoods who work at subways don't have transportation yeah personal so transportation. just be like we'll pay for your uber yeah to come and podcast yeah we'll smoke you up we'll, yep we'll, 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 we'll pay for it we'll, we'll, i'll I have a fucking full bottle of teats if you want i i think we could actually rope rope some people into this pretty easily i think those are like literally the only three things they care about is like can someone get me a ride can someone get me high can someone get me drunk the one thing that scares me is i'm going to be having all these random fucking drunk and high strangers in my basement yeah 
Yeah, I'm not worried and about that. Just, and then they just know where I live from that point on. Well, here's the deal: we'll be we'll blindfold them. Can we blindfold just like request that the Uber driver yeah. blindfolds them. Yeah, <laughs> well, we'll pick them up and we'll blindfold them. Okay. You know, <laughs> just like we're not. We're, I swear to God, we're not kidnapping you. Yeah, this is not a kidnapping. Weird. We're we're literally just trying to shoot a podcast. But, with, but I will say to this: to find out if you have the chops. Or <laughs> yeah, we just want to figure out if you have chops. <laughs> Look, we'll we'll go to we'll go to any lengths possible to find out if you have chops. <laughs> How far will they go to find out if this subway employee has chops? <laughs> and then we fucking kill him. We'll stop at nothing to find out if this guy has chops. We're fucking beating him up in an alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> we have to have them have to have him restrained on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> He's just chained to a lawn chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we had, we had to do some light assault this week to find out if he, he has, has the chops. chops. <laughs> I love it. It's like all I wanted to do was be a sandwich artist. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this would be fun. They said there would be Tito's. <laughs> it's like there is bitch is dumping it on his wounds. <laughs> just fucking put a towel over his face yeah, and just fucking exactly. just dump Tito's over it. <laughs> Waterboarding him with Tito's. <laughs> yeah. Now time for our our most successful segment, the Tito's waterboard. <laughs> we promised you Tito's. You said it'd be weed too. It's like, oh yeah, there'll be weed. Just injecting fucking hash into them. <laughs> it's just a saw just, chamber. Just like like fucking like liquid hot like fucking <laughs> yeah, bu- <dude>. bubbling. <laughs> yeah, <just> dude. Bu- <laughs> dabs or something. Just fresh from the cauldron, uh, dude. Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> like, hey man, you should have read the fine print. <laughs> You didn't have me sign anything. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Pushing the bounds of the human experience. <laughs> One subway employee at a time. <laughs> yeah. The cops are just like, where have all these subway employees gone? <laughs> <laughs> they go back with just track marks and just a tremendous amounts of PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> didn't have the job. We spin them around twelve times, push them back into their neighborhood, and drive away. They just they just keep muttering. I didn't have the job. <laughs> I didn't. I have... didn't have the jobs. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> just crying into a meth head's arms. <laughs> I failed. Uh, uh, dude, this is a great idea. I think we're. I think we're on. <laughs> Should we call Harvey Weinstein again? <laughs> It's like, hey, this. We, it's been a, it's been a couple months since like, we've called. Wine, it's like, yo, wine. Harvey, we got some twisted shit for you, here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't mall rats, but I think you'll like it. <laughs> uh, good old Weinstein. Uh, yeah, good old Weinstein. Yep, that's the name of this podcast for sure. <laughs> yeah, good old Weinstein is the fucking definitely the name of this episode. Mm-hmm. No one's ever said that. You're the first guy who's ever said, God, good old Weinstein. <laughs> well, first for everything, you know? Yeah, for real, dude. Somebody's got to, he's, he's fucking going to get me rich someday, you know? Remember we actually, like, formulated a plan to break him out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that was, uh, I think that was season number one, you know? Would that be considered, like, a terrorist event? I mean, it would be very illegal. Right. Which I don't think you just break people. Up, but would it be a terrorist? Uh, event? Like, I mean, you think about. I don't think it would be terrorism because uh, pr- prisons are private. I think so. But breaking a person out if of there, uh, if it was federal, maybe I, I could see it being considered that. Well, he could, wait. He probably is in federal law. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I suppose. But like, are, aren't those owned by private people though? Well, I think there might be. I think there might be two different types of prisons. Mm. I pri- think you might be right. How funny is it that we have private? <laughs> Isn't that fu- that's Even, the it's the most like fucking dis- like just disturbing just fucking shit on the everything planet. is for profit here. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we're just gonna make them do labor for our friends. Dude, the idea of make a, money off of, of a it. private profitable prison. Yeah, <laughs> and, the, so fucking and crazy. then these fuckers are like lobbying the fucking yeah, like, dude. <laughs> it's like we need more police. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we need more police out there and more laws, oh, more laws, man. more police. I'm starting to think More those prisons. starting to think those BLM folks are honest. Though. <laughs> I mean, I've protested my share of BLM rallies, but I'm starting to maybe feel like maybe I was wrong in yeah. retrospect. That's my favorite thing when you like fucking t- like tell someone you're disdain for private prisons, and they're just like, "No, you're wrong, man. We they're, they're it's part of a capitalist fucking yeah. country, or whatever." And they get all upset at you and shit. Yeah, they keep my HOA safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good lord. I'm part of an HOA. I mean, your your uh your roommate is. Well, the guy who owns the place. Yeah. I think you're just renting. It's so it's so funny. Dude, there's all these rules when you live in an HOA. That's, I wouldn't I don't know why anybody would fucking do that. It's, well, I think he I think he got what, what we what, for what we for what we have, I think he paid like Oh, a very and, reasonable and amount okay, okay. of money. For, yeah, for like for the live, price for the price point because we live in low yes. income technically, or like controlled yeah. income or uh-huh. whatever it is. But you can purchase stuff. Yeah. it's not like rent. He owns it. You know? Like I, I'm just saying, like so, like if you have the choice, like because some people do it, like because they they just want to. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, um, but if you have the choice between like you know owning your own like property off doing yeah. you know your own thing and like. And then also just like having somebody just like tell you everything that you could possibly do to your house and yeah. shit. I suppose some people don't really give a fuck about like doing shit to their house. I, uh, I guess, but yeah. And also in our neighborhood, do you think anyone is following those HOA no. guidelines? No, yeah, you're right. But here's the deal: our little stretch of road yep. is like we're like the the people that are like holding the whole thing together. Everything else gets real wild. Like you see something like just like how messy and how crazy everything is. Yeah. So like the, there's like the lady who like lives like two doors down from us who's always like, oh, you know, you guys are supposed to shovel your walk or whatever. Shut the fuck and up. And dude, Nathan is so funny. He's like, he's like, ah, we're having fun. You know, <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, oh yeah, we'll do that. You know, we're all just we're having a good time. You know? <laughs> he's like, just never gonna do it. He's laughing. He's like, oh yeah, I'm sure I'm supposed to do that. And just like turns around, just walks into the house. <laughs> You know. <laughs> Meanwhile, the house, asshole. the house on the just like the fucking ninety degree block, the other one, you know, yeah, to the yeah. right of us, it's like just twelve foot snow drifts <laughs> in the sidewalk. It's like, look, man, you're not going to convince me to shovel my sidewalk <laughs> yeah, if right. that's occurring They're, directly they don't give next a, they door. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's like I know you want like our like our like thirty foot like stretch of sidewalk here to look nice, but yeah. you're just lying to yourself about where you live. Yeah. You know. So yeah, he he abides by none of it. Yeah, and they like sent him emails. He's like, not responding to that. It's like, <laughs> what are they gonna do? It's like when you look around at everything else that's going on in our neighborhood, nothing Dude, is being honest. nothing is being taken Honestly. care of. Well, you know, that's not <laughs> happening. It's like, well, why would we even fucking shovel? It's on my fucking walkway, dude. I'll break my own neck, dude. Don't come up here. <laughs> fucking stay out, dude. I like honestly, yeah. If they think like they're 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 gonna come into that like neighborhood and just like fucking start like showing people the business and just like gonna be all right, like I. Yeah, you want to come? In, you want to come gentrify not my neighborhood? Yeah. Out of my cold dead hands. What do you think was? What do you think was there before? Like, how do you think that experience went? Because they definitely tore some shit down to make whatever the fuck your neighborhood was. I have to imagine it was rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like there was like probably like a fucking war that happened. I bet there was. I bet there was a couple people that died. Just an unbridled race war. I, I bet there was a couple people that died fucking gentrifying that neighborhood that you live in. But it's not. But our neighborhood is not gentrified. Well, I mean, it, it's like it was the intention of it was though. Mm-mm. Like I feel. No, like... the intention was to give people uh, who uh, uh, <laughs> traditionally have been given a, a tough time in this country in this city yes. an opportunity to have like. Fairly nice housing. That was actually the idea. Oh, oh, fair enough. People pushed back against it though. They actually didn't want it to happen. So like, it was like a triumph. Like when 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 Nathan bought it. Yeah. The guy that uh, he got it from was like, "You should be proud to live in this neighborhood." We, there was a, a mighty battle, and eventually we like we overcame, and they built this for people like us. You know, and then the way the white people moved in. <laughs> it's like it wasn't for us, but you know, <laughs> you guys just. Well, that's what I mean. You guys literally are gentrifying the area, though. Just by being white. Yes. No, gentrifying would be like you guys. You the, guys literally moved from no, North Dakota. No, no, no. And G- then gentrifying in, and then is the wrong in, word. Into the fucking gentrifying is the wrong word. Now, when I'm when I'm strolling around the neighborhood in a white beater and big ass shorts, am I culturally appropriating? Certainly, <laughs> but I'm not. But I'm. <laughs> But I am not gentrifying. Uh, I am not gentrifying. Yeah. That is not what's happening. <laughs> gentrifying is like building a Trader Joe's and putting apartments on top of it. Why no? But they built That's this fancy different. ass motherfucking place and then like you, a, you, a horde of a my, horde of you've white. You've been in my house. It is not a fancy ass motherfucking. It's pretty fucking fancy. No, it it's got three not. levels. You guys got a fucking stainless steel yeah, fridge. Yeah, you guys got working water. It's like yeah, you guys you got you have a refrigerator. You, know I mean? <laughs> you have a refrigerator. The fucking stainless steel refrigerator. No, it's not stainless. steel. I don't steel. know. It looked fancy. Dude, there's nothing. Look, you guys, I, it's buy a fine. Bunch of these fucking it's white, fine. white, white motherfuckers come in. Dude, there. is it Cedar Riverside? Certainly not. Okay, but it's not like fucking high class living. <laughs> it's fine. The whole thing was that I was supposed to like make people from marginalized groups like feel like they can maybe. Yeah, are you marginalized? <laughs> I kind of. <laughs> I'm. 
in, in Minneapolis, being, Josh is just out here hey, gentrifying hey, Northman. In Minneapolis. Minneapolis, being white and straight, that you're a marginalized man. <laughs> yeah. If you're in Minneapolis proper, listen. I'm ashamed to, to call you and M Dog friends. All right, both of you are just I'm, out there just gentrifying fucking North Minneapolis. All right. I did go to Emily's today. I was like, "What's the deal with all the screaming black people outside?" <laughs> she's like, "She's like, I don't know." I'm like, "This is this is every day." She's like, "I stay in here." I'm like, oh, "Okay, that's good." <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic, Emily. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, they like hear gunshots like every single night of the week. Yeah, yeah. she's like, I go out there and I shoot at them. Have you? Uh, oh, Jesus <laughs> like, Christ! They never suspect it's me because I'm white. <laughs> I can get away with it. Emily's just out there, just fucking firing shots off. I me killed it. I killed an eight-year-old boy. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a midget. Like now that I think about it, uh, <laughs> like Emily, Jesus, Emily Emily would make the great. Like if Emily was a fucking serial killer. You know what I mean? <laughs> she would be the ultimate serial killer. Yeah. Nobody would believe it. Would have been funny if I would have got there today and it was like that scene from Patch Adams when the lady just like goes and visits the guy and she, he just happens to be alone. And yeah. He's, like, he's just playing the... You know, Emily plays keyboard. She gets yeah, to yeah, doing yeah. that. Uh-huh. And then like something just snaps in her and she kills me. <laughs> I set myself up. If Emily was a serial killer today, it would have been like a really... Because I was there with no oh, phone, yeah, yeah. no wallet, no identification. She's like, she's like uh, so let me, uh, what are your circumstances again? You yeah. don't have any, any I have nothing. Uh, no identification, nothing. I literally had nothing on me. No reason to be here. She would have nothing to even hide. It would have always been in my room. It's, it would it's, such, it's dude, very, uh, very uncharacteristic of you to walk into my house right now, Josh. It's perfect. If she would have had any, like, sick in the back of her mind, inclination <laughs> yeah. to, like, find someone to kill... I was perfect. Would you do like if okay? So vice versa, if Emily, <laughs> no, if Emily no, wandered no, no, into no your house words. with no identification, <laughs> <laughs> with no, nothing on her. All right. Oh God. Would you or would you not murder? Her? <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. But <laughs> would you think? Would you think about it? Well, I would definitely realize that this would be a good opportunity. Because you came to this conclusion pretty quickly about the whole like her. <laughs> You know? Here's the other unfortunate thing. No, you're right though. Yes, I, <laughs> in my mind, I'd be, in my mind, I'd be like, you know, it was like I, I told you I had to build a cage at work one time. Wait, what do you what? We'll build a cage to like store laptops in and stuff. Wait, people, what, build a cage to store laptops? It was, it was like a legit cage. Like I guarantee people have used these for like human trafficking before. It's just from Uline, just from Uline cages. You just build them okay. and, and you put stuff in there like a laptop so people don't steal laptops. Yes. Oh, I think I know what you're talking. And about. And as I was building yeah. the cage, it's like I don't want to like human traffic or anything, but I was like. God, you just get these cages and put them together nice and easy. It's like you can just store someone in here for as long as you want. You know, is it hard to get out or in? Oh, it would be impossible. Dang. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, you think about these how, things. How, how much? <laughs> I don't know, dude. If you, I'm sure you can strike a deal with the U line for hey, this you know, cage. You know what I'm just realizing? What? <clears throat> so uh, the producer is actually not on a lease here or anything. No, he's a, he's essentially a drifter. Like, how, how much are one of these cages? He's actually. It would be so easy for you to kill him, and no one would know. <laughs> he doesn't belong. He does. He has no address. His 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 Facebook is all like some fake names, like Snaggled Toots or whatever. It's like yeah. it's not even a real person. It'd be like, well, like, I don't know. Clearly, the guy's mentally ill. He's just wandered off. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, you could kill him, dude. How do you feel about this, Pete? <sighs> I mean, you know, do it. <laughs> 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 all right that sounds all good right. to me well that seems like a good place to break it does yeah i think break. so i think that's great yeah great now time. that he like i guess consented to his uh own demise yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like eh, just, just do it yeah he just gave you the nike nike <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to getting homicide i say <laughs> just do it <laughs> all right let's take a break all right goodbye yes forever this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Tito's Handmade Vodka, made in Austin, Texas. Now, Austin, Texas is really a, a burgeoning and a revolutionary kind of place. Alan, you know all about Austin, Texas, right? Yeah, I've been there a couple times. As an avid Joe Rogan Experience f- fan. Red pill. Wrong. We don't like Joe Rogan on this podcast. Oh. And Tito's Vodka personally spends hundreds and hundreds of dollars each year trying to cancel Joe Rogan. <laughs> So if you don't like Joe Rogan, you'll love Tito's Vodka. Tito's Vodka, the JRE Slayer. (laughs) All right, the second uh, advertisement of the podcast is brought to you by... Brisk, iced tea, blood orange variant. (laughs) 
<laughs> variant. Uh. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like COVID really ruined the word variant. Va- y- yeah. Like, variant doesn't have to mean, like, a COVID strain, but, like... It I just, like that word. That's just kind of what people right. associate it's it with. Now. A, it's just a different different type of... No, I like it. Know? No, no, that's a good word. You used a good word there. All right, cool. But it reminded me of that... Uh, the dirty, dirty disease. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It reminded me of that plague. <laughs> so, uh, Brisk, uh, Brisk is a company that makes iced tea for, uh, for you know, anybody who is into, uh, you know, tea flavors, but, uh, you know, it doesn't really taste... Like a like a standard tea, it's more just like a bunch of sugar uh, and some water <laughs> with a uh, hint of tea on top of it. <laughs> so I mean, if if you're if you're somebody who enjoys tea but doesn't really want it to taste that much like tea, I mean, you could just kind of go with brisk because they got they got all sorts of flavors that will f- fucking wet your whistle. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Was there, yeah, like a, maybe like some sort of like note of finality they wanted you to say to close up the ad there, or just wanted you to say you know. <laughs> Certainly in the copy they had a little something, like some little quip at the end. <laughs> Brisk blood orange. It's uh, these oranges do not uh, were normally not bloody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now time for the second half of the podcast. <laughs> It's the going oh my hard God. podcast. <laughs> Producer Pete, Alan, and John. Welcome back to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Producer Pete, how was your break, buddy? Oh, it was pretty good. How was yours? Oh, I had a really good one. Alan, yours? It was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yours, yours was good, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How, how do you feel about stopping? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I noticed. I noticed that you rock uh, blue headphones. They almost look like they'd be police officers' headphones. I uh, see so you're you're probably for stop and frisk. Well, of course. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's let's make a song. All right. <laughs> now that we've established that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening to the podcast once again. The podcast. The podcast. Yeah. This guy's trying to get out of here and fucking do poker. I, I am going to go gamble after this, but I'm not in a hurry to do it. Uh, I mean, I am. All right. Well, I think that's it, everybody. Yeah. See, Adios. Yeah. Sa- good sayonara. Yeah, see ya. Hey, Pete, anything you want to say before we go, though? Sometimes uh, you like to have a little thing. No, not today. Okay. That's great. Uh, enjoy the song. Yeah. Definitely more.
more consistent than my dick. I get real drunk and then I'm on my game. I get real drunk and I forget my name. But I remember metaphors and shit. I'm real good at it